Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time on your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, this video is going to give you an idea of your position on Google and show you if new prospects in San Diego can find you if they're looking for a locksmith. All right. Um, so I just want to jump straight into the video. As you can see, we're on one of my business pages. Um, my business is Amp Local. We do SEO marketing, web design, PVC management, and lead generation. All right. So let's go over to your website. So here's your website. Um, so before I jump into Google's algorithm, I'll give you some feedback, uh, some background on that. So Google has an algorithm. Um, it's got 200 determining factors. All right. I'm not going to talk about all of them. Um, I'm going to talk about four of the very most important ones. Um, it's important to understand this because 82% of the population is on Google. So when they're looking for a product or a service in their area, they're going to go to Google. So to find you, they would have to type in lock and key or locksmith um, in San Diego. So you want to be at the top of those searches, right? Um, of course, Google is very smart. So when you search something on there, it knows your location. So people aren't typically always going to be typing in San Diego. They could just be typing in locksmith or lock and key. Um, and if they're in San Diego, then you would pop up on those searches. So to find you, just like I said, we would have to type in locksmith San Diego. Uh, or something relevant to that. Now this works for any company, any niche market, whether you're a locksmith or carpet cleaner, a limo, party bus uh, service, um, I mean anything. It's the same concept. Uh, so for locksmith San Diego, I didn't find you at all on the very first 10 pages. Um, so if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20. So real quick, so these are your ads, okay? This takes up about 20 to 30 percent of the market, um, about 70, uh, about 70 or so percent actually come from the organics. So 35 percent rank number one, and 35 percent rank from the uh, from the organics. All right. So you definitely, this is definitely where we want to get you. Your business is top of the map listings, the top of the organic listings. All right. So one of your um, top competitors here, and I'll just show you this chart real quick. It shows you if you're number one, you get about 35% of the clicks. Then number two, it drop, drops a lot down to 17%. Number three, around 10%. So definitely got to be on the first page, ranked number 10 and up, because 91% of all the clicks come from the first page. Who, who really you know clicks on the second page? Um, so I just want to show you that. Your top competitor in San Diego is Busy Bees Locks and Keys. Um, so they're they're taking up most of the market for you. They're ranked one right here, um, and they're actually ranked number five right here. So they're still uh, Yelp and all that uh, don't count. I'm looking at um, the solid business websites. Yelp and is easy to overcome once we start doing SEO. All right, so I just want to kind of show you where you're at compared to them. So real quick, this is the locksmith in my keyword planner for San Diego, the word locksmiths gets searched around 12 to 13,000 times a month. So you definitely want to be at the top of these searches. All right. This is just for San Diego. So that's the goal. Imagine having this much business. Okay. Um, there's so much potential there. Um, yep. There's your top competitor. So this is how many clicks uh, you get right now per month. And it's obviously you reached out to me. You needed some help with your SEO. So you're at zero clicks a month right now at, for your SEO clicks. Okay. So you're not really driving too much traffic at all, really, to your website. Um, and if you are, it's by word of mouth. It's not S it's not from organic searches like someone typing in Locksmith on Google, because that's what most of the population is doing. This is your top competitor, Busy B. He's getting, on average, around 140 clicks a month. So this is a, a ton of business. So he's had a spike spike last month. He had 300. This month he's around 140. So there's huge potential for the market here for you to get involved in. Um, let me go back to his overview. And he's also, you aren't investing in uh, Google AdWords. So that's what this is over here. I mean, maybe that's something you're trying to set up or you haven't set up yet or it's unsuccessful. But as far as I can see, you don't have anything going. They, on the other hand, are getting about 550 clicks a month from Google AdWords. So that's powering a lot of their business. So that may be something we would want to uh, invest in as well as far as 
um, you know, running a solid SEO campaign for you and invest in Google AdWords to get the phone ringing right away. Uh, so you have a great, a, a better return of your investment. Okay. So some of the top keywords um, that uh, Busy B is really killing it in is Locksmith San Diego. So I just showed you that one. They're pulling about 25% of their business from that. Um, San Diego Locksmith, same thing, about 16%. So Busy B Locksmith, this is word of mouth referrals. They already know that business exists, so we can't really take that market, but we could definitely take um, about uh, 45%, almost half of their business uh, using these keywords here. All right, so now that I've showed you that, where you are versus your competitor, let me get into Google's algorithm, okay? So I'm going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. Um, the very the first one I want to talk to you about is authoritative content. So when we go to your home page, um, do you have authoritative content? Do you have uh, content that's relative to a locksmith in San Diego? So looking at your home page, yes, it's whoever did it um, did a good job. It's, it looks nice and new and um, it's well laid out, but it, it's lacking in content. We need to have 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page of relevant material that has to do with um, locksmiths in San Diego. Okay, let me show you what that kind of looks like. Um, so I went to Google, I typed in elephant. So number one is Wikipedia. Wikipedia is notor um, notorious for popping up number one because of their authoritative content. Look at this page. This is this is probably a thousand uh, fifty thousand plus words. You know the evolution of elephants, where what they eat, their habitat, all that good stuff. Okay, now this is extreme. I just want to give you an idea, um, but definitely one thousand to two thousand words we need to add to your homepage about relevant material that have to do with your service in San Diego. Next, I'm going to talk to you about backlinks. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, citations. These are also called business listings. All right, so say. Um, these are very important. Um, this is how we get our name and business listed out on the internet. All right, some examples: Google, Yahoo, Bing, Facebook, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Yelp, uh, Local.com. Um, when you do them, you have to have your business name, address, and phone number identical because if not, Google is going to slap you down, which you are experiencing at the moment. So you have a 74% error rate. Okay. So as I'm looking through, you're missing listings. You're not. You don't have a Facebook set up. Um, and if you do have a Facebook, it's got all the incorrect information that's not recognizing. Um, your phone number is varied all through here. You're not listed in all these. These are the top 50 in the country. We definitely want to get you listed in these, but there's thousands of these, okay? And over time, we want to get you listed in hundreds and hundreds of them. So let me show you what's so great about doing business with me. Um, so here you are right here, okay, with my tool for the citations. And by the way, these are directly responsible for getting you ranked number one in maps, okay, these local citations. This shows Google that you're a local business, so they want to put all the local businesses right here. Um, so right now you have 37, okay, this is you, high tech lock and key. You have 37 of these citations, okay, again with inaccurate information. Busy B has 90, okay, that's nearly three times as many. And I can view all of them and literally just go register you with all of their citations. So we can literally corner and take the market from them very easily uh, using this process to get you ranked number one here. Okay. So that's citations. Very powerful uh, strategy. Next, I'm going to talk to you about backlinks. Okay. So say you have a client, you know, thoroughly impressed with the service. You know, they needed a new, they needed to get in their house or their, Ferrari, I don't know, and you you know you got them a new lock made, a new key. Um, say they are they have a website or they're a blogger or write articles. What will happen is they'll actually write an article maybe and then post it on their website and link your website to that website. So anyone reading an article can click the link and go directly to your site. This is great because now you have a new prospect, but most importantly, Google sees this as votes. All right, so Google is a popularity contest. The more votes you have the more chances you're going to win the first spots, right? It's kind of like running for president. Whoever has the most votes wins. These are your votes, all right? So for you, I'm looking at these numbers. So let me explain this. Referencing domains is how many websites on the internet right now that's mentioning you, okay? So there's one website right now mentioning you around 41 times, okay? That's what that's saying right there. Now the trust flow, this is the most important thing. This is the quality of that domain. Okay, so at zero, obviously you can you can probably 
put together that that's low quality, right? So here's the quality. If you have zero trust flow, very low quality, okay? If you have a 20 trust flow, then you have very high quality, all right? So Google wants to see very high quality backlinks, okay? Now, for you, obviously, you're zero. So this is where your competitor is at. So his chart looks a little different because he has more, more background, right? So he has 92... 92 websites mentioning him on the internet right now all right 410 times all right so his trust flow is 19 so he is almost almost at high quality well here's another great thing about doing business with amp local and me um, we have unlimited amounts of of backlinks for you to link to we write tons of articles um, that are all high quality articles that trust flow at 20 and 25 so very very high so these are directly responsible for getting you number one in organics okay so it'll be very easy to overcome their rankings and get you the number one spot to take in 35 percent of the market all right for each of organic and then 35 percent of maps and then also we can get you an optimized um, AdWord campaign to take in 30% of the market here. So a huge opportunity for you and your business um, by pushing uh, local SEO behind it, all right? So moving on, last thing I wanna talk about is being mobile friendly. 68% um, of the population is actually on their iPhone, Android, or smart device looking for a product or service in their area. So you might gotta look good on, the, on those devices. Most importantly, Google takes it very seriously. That's why I'm talking about it. Um, so I did do a search with my tool here. You are mobile friendly, okay? Um, so you are recognized as a mobile friendly um, website. So that's very good. I just want to throw it in there because it is something, like I said, that Google takes serious. All right, so that's pretty much it for the analysis. Um, I hope this made sense to you, and I hope this makes sense for you and your business. Um, after reviewing it, um, if you'd like to have a conversation about it, I'd love to uh, put together a proposal and uh, sit down and, and talk to you about it. Just um, email me back with your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, again, I appreciate you, you taking the time out of your day to watch this, and you have a enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.